The next alkene addition reaction here is called catalytic hydrogenation. So it turns out we can add hydrogen across the alkene, but only in the presence of a catalyst. And the one I'm choosing here is the most common one I've seen, palladium. And sometimes we have palladium on carbon or palladium on charcoal. Uh, but technically, you can lose platinum or nickel as well, and you should just treat them as being interchangeable. Uh, but in this case, we're going to add a hydrogen to both sides of the alkene. And since we're adding the same thing to both sides, there's no regioselectivity to talk about here. So that's why you got the not applicable symbol here. Um, so whether, you know, we don't have to worry about which side gets the hydrogen, which side gets the hydrogen. They're getting the same thing. It doesn't matter. Uh, if it matters, it turns out this is going to be a syn addition. So if you form two chiral centers, those two H's are going to add to the same face of the alkene. We'll have to worry about that. Uh, but it turns out we don't know the exact mechanism of this reaction, at least not precisely. Uh, so you definitely don't have to know the mechanism of it, but it definitely doesn't go through a carbocation. There's no rearrangements to worry about. Uh, but in this case, we're going to add a hydrogen to both sides. So both the less substituted side and the more substituted side each get a hydrogen. And so essentially, you're turning an alkene into an alkane. A lot of students just think it makes the alkene disappear. Uh, but again, keep in mind, you're adding two H's. Uh, if we kind of take a look at what's going on here, so you have a hydrogen molecule adsorbing. Notice this does not mean absorbing, but adsorbing is just where you kind of stick to the surface here. And, and we think that kind of weakens the bond between the hydrogens here. And so when this alkene comes uh, and approaches the two hydrons there, it forms bonds to both hydrons from both the alkene carbons at the same time. And that's why they've got to add to the same face. Uh, you can't attach to, you know, one is a wedge on one side, one a dash on the other side. They're coming from the same side at the same time. That's what makes it a syn addition here. Now we've taken a look at catalytic hydrogenation. And one of the things we've got to take a look at in addition to that is what we call heats of hydrogenation. So it turns out whenever we turn any one of these three alkenes I've got listed here into an alkane, it is going to be an exothermic reaction. The alkane is more stable. So, and being exothermic reactions, we should keep in mind that that implies that delta H is going to be negative. Uh, if we kind of take a look, uh, I've arranged these alkenes. They're all related to the same carbon backbone, and that's uh, Therefore, they're all going to give the same alkane product. But I've arranged them all in terms of increasing energy. So you can see the tetra substituted is the most substituted and will be the most stable. Starts out the lowest energy. And the mono substituted, uh, being the least substituted, will start out as the highest energy. That's that kind of ranking we learned in the last chapter. And in this case, if we kind of look at the energy profiles for each one of these reactions, we can kind of see, so here's one, and definitely going to be a big fat negative delta H. This difference right here would be our delta H. And because we're going downhill overall, it's definitely going to be negative. So and in the next one, we can see it's going to have an even more negative delta H. And then finally, for the least stable alkene, the least substitute in this case, it's going to have the most exothermic delta H, so the most exothermic hydrogenation reaction. So sometimes we have to rank the heats of hydrogenation. And they're all negative, and we all, always know they're all negative. So when we say the highest heat of hydrogenation, we want the one that releases the most heat, is most exothermic. And generally, the least stable, which is generally the least substituted alkene, has the highest heat of hydrogenation, highest meaning most negative. So that's something you should be prepared, uh, kind of a ranking you should be prepared to do.